Diane in Denmark here. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. Here we go again. I'll turn you around in a wee minute so you can see what we've got. We're just about to uh, go kind of live with all the stuff. See you on the other side and let's hope for another great spot. And after we have been to our little swap party, I'm going to show you what I brought back this time, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's get swapping. You may want to cover your ears because I think we're about 20 ladies this time. We make a lot of noise, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, let, let's dive into the swap items. Right, and I'll give you a run through of what we've got. We have got masses of shoes, <gasps> shoes from Sue's basement. And all around here, lots of shoes out here. High heels, low heels, we've got lots of uh, household stuff. Oh my goodness, we have cool box. Let me see, we've got... Those are my towels. You find an owner already. And you'll notice a lot of my jewellery. And this was one of the fun items. I think they came from Vibica's daughter. Look at those, those are earrings. Uh, books. Everybody always loves books. I should be having a look. See if there's anything for me. Ooh, Minecraft. Oh, actually, I might take that for my daughter. She's looking for a collection. Jonas book. Kitchen implements, that's also from Sue's. Ooh, this looks interesting. I'm going to have a look at that. Beautiful turquoise. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Maria, can you show us? And these actually came from one of the ladies whose husband is a doctor. So if you can't read that, then you need to get a new pair of glasses. Good, Maria. Well done. Good find. And over here we have training, clothes, underwear, sweaters. That's my jacket back from Sue. Somebody else might want it this time. And here we have tops and also from Sue. I think you saw this one. I'm interested to see who's going to be picking up that today. Oh, cute dress. But too small for me. Too, too short, I think. Right. Okay, oh, the sun's out. Scarves. I should be having a look through these. Hmm, might be something for me. Let's take a look. And then over here is also one of my jackets. Oh, something with stars on. What is this? Uh, I'm not really into that neckline, but pretty pattern. And then over here, you'll see the last items that I put in. That was a sweater. Oh, and this is also a dress of mine. Really nice. Actually, that might suit Karen. Karen? Karen, maybe this is something for you. It's a really nice uh, dress with uh, a tie at the back. Maybe? Or not? maybe not your colours yet. It looks nice when it's ironed. Okay, Georgina, what have you found? I've found these earrings, I'm yeah. thinking, because I think they're absolutely perfect for my next ASMR video. Um, okay, if you, if you don't know Georgina, she does ASMR. <laughs> okay, what else have you found? So, well, i found various things for... Oh, those were, those were my daughters. You, you, you can um, put them onto your hair if you've got like a, a hot iron thing. I thought they'd uh, be that brilliant for, for my your kids. daughters. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great. So lots of fun things for my kids so far. Mm -hmm. And um, and something else for an ASMR video when I'm playing someone's hair, I can put this beautiful butterfly. Oh, in. that is beautiful. And I would also think it'd be really nice in my hair too. Yeah, I think it's great. So pretty. Well, good friends. Okay, I'll leave you to get back to it. Okay, okay. Sue, so, have you found anything yet? What are you finding? Green tapes is my colour. Oh yeah, that'd be nice on you. Uh, with a top underneath. You can have like a 
You can, you can try it. You can try it. Okay, Eric, have you found anything yet? I have, but it was just... Oh, the necklace. Oh, the yeah, neck this one. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really fun. I love it. I think it was V because I repaired it, and it, it's, it might feel a bit jaggy on you, but just as you're warned, up at the top. Oh, okay. But, but it's really nice, uh, really nice on you. Oh, oh, that was mine too, the, <laughs> the, the pearl That's thing. Cute. Yeah, this is my scrunchie. Yeah, I oh, okay, great, good finds. Okay, Sue, give us a try. That is my jacket that Sue's wearing. She looks 10 out of 10, ready for the red carpet. Yeah, and the white jeans, or sorry, they're not white, they're actually... <laughs> they're just doing the walk. That's a good one. And she's off. Okay, we're just about to dig into the food. We've got a lot of uh, food and drink, tea, coffee, some wine, fresh bread, the bakers, somebody's been making scones, lovely salad, croissant, we've got some savory and zucchini bread. Zucchini bread, oh yum. Okay, hummus. Homemade jam. Plum? That's nice. Yeah, I should have brought my plum jam. I've got some as well. Um, cake or something? Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> something. Oh, scones. That looks really good. Wow. Scones. And strawberry jam with champagne. Just what we need. Okay. Bon appetit. Well, look at that. Ladies have bagged everything up. Got it all ready for the charity shop. The books are going to the book exchange. Good job. See you later. Right, eyes down for a full house. I'm going to start with household items first. And the first thing is actually behind you. It's behind you. I got this really nice lamp in white glass. It's, all it needs is a shade. And I'm thinking I'll probably put this lamp in my office. And the other thing that I got along with the lamp is a white vase. Now, I, I really like white items for the home. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to put this in my office as well. So if you ever have a coaching session with me, you'll, you'll probably see this uh, in, in the background from now on. I also took a couple of hair sprays. You know, I always like to zhuzh up my hair. Uh, usually if I'm down at the sea in the morning, you know, for my skinny dip in my bike ride. Sometimes I need to give my, my hair a little zhuzh. Net, one of the best extra caring argan oil. And the other one is a Schwarzkopf. And this is ultra stark, <laughs> very, very strong force, force four. And then onto uh, accessories, I got this really nice bag. It came in a little uh, dust cover. And the brand is Olga Berg, never heard of Olga Berg, could be Swedish, and it's a bright pink colour with gold hardware on it. And it's one of these ones that you can use as a clutch and stand, you know, at a party with your uh, martini or whatever you're drinking. In my case, it would be a gin and tonic. Uh, you can also put on the, uh, the, it's got a strap inside, which you can either have the strap in or not. And actually, I like these because when I go to uh, rock concerts, I like to have something that I can have cross-body. Uh, all, all of my bags are cross-body bags and I thought this one is just perfect uh, size. So there we go. And a wee bit of jewellery. And I took this one just, I, I don't know why, just reminds of my granny. My granny loved this kind of Kelly green colour. And I was thinking that might be really nice on one of my sweaters coming up to Christmas when I'd like to add a little uh, sparkle to my outfits, you know, just, just something small. I'm not sure if I'll hold on to it, uh, how long I'll hold on to it, but it's a nice uh, bright green. I don't usually go for stud earrings, but there were something about these ones that I just really liked. And you can see um, it's got pearls. I love my pearls. Uh, it's kind of rose gold and they've got little sparkly bits in them. So uh, they'll probably quite, be quite nice in the run up to Christmas when I'm wanting to add a wee bit more sparkle. This, this is a waterproof bag for your telephone. Now I'm not intending to use it for my telephone because I have a GoPro that I use when we are swimming that is uh, waterproof. But I, I, 
I'm going to be using these whenever I have the evening swims, the, the night swims with my Copenhagen Blue Tits Chill Swimmers group because we had a, a harvest moon swim just last week and it's pitch dark but what we do is we put small lights into our toe floats, into our floaties and it kind of lights up the place and I'm thinking it might be fun to have this around my neck with a light in it or just standing around afterwards because it's pitch black when we're swimming so, so I thought that might be fun for that and on the winter bathing, winter swimming, ice swimming theme it, it's getting colder and colder and you know we swim all year round also when there is ice and snow and all, all these little uh, lifelines as we call them help like having good thermal gloves, uh, wearing a hat when you're swimming. We, we swim, uh, I swim heads up breaststroke so that's why I can wear the hat to keep your, your head warm especially when we're well below freezing. And there were a few packs of reusable hand warmers so I've taken those and those will go in my winter swimming kit bag so that when we get towards uh, real, real winter it's the kind of thing you can uh, you know, you kind of break them and then they heat up and then they're reusable. Normally the way that you recharge them is putting them in a pan of boiling water. That's usually how they work. I'm, I'm guessing it's the same with these ones. And also, it's really, really cold, you can slip them inside your boots <laughs> to, to keep your calves warm. We, we top tip, prof tip from, from a winter swimmer. I bought a few items of clothing and it was really good this time that there wasn't really anything that kind of uh, jumped out at me but I have taken uh, a, a green, a bright uh, type 1 green sweatshirt and this is actually new, still got the tags on it the divided range at uh, H&M in St Maritz um, actually it's a large children's size, teenage size and I've, I've started wearing a lot more exercise clothes especially at the weekend because when you are a winter swimmer you are standing on the edge uh, at the harbour or at the sea and you're stripping off there there's no kind of changing room so you need a lot of good easy to pull on and off clothing so I'm thinking that's going to be great for that and a nice bright green colour that my granny would like. I also picked up this really nice uh, bright navy dressing gown uh, it's got little lacy bits at the end, very, very nice and soft. So I'm, so I'm pleased with that because we are moving towards the autumn now. It's nice to have a nice uh, dressing gown on. Also, I got a white raincoat and it's really funny because I had just been saying last week, I'm really enjoying having white and winter white outerwear. You, you've probably seen some of the uh, winter coats that I've had the last couple of years. And I was thinking, oh, you know, I, I would really like instead of having a uh, navy or a kind of pink or a red raincoat to find a white one <laughs> and guess what was at the swap you know kind of uh, you know you put your wish out there and, and up it turns uh, and this brand oh sorry I should have told you Triumph brand the dressing gown and this is Whistler not sure what Whistler is I don't know if it's uh, American Canadian or Danish but it's got um, removable hood which is useful and I think that's going to keep me uh, nice and dry it, it's um, a sports strength raincoat that rain will not get through this and as I'm out biking uh, almost every morning all year round this is going to be another great item for me to keep me nice and toasty warm and dry and one more thing Remember, we don't use shoes in the house in Denmark. You leave your shoes at the door, so put them on, put them on old newspaper. <laughs> newspaper. A pair of Hunter Welly boots, short ones. And those are going to be great for me for the garden. Also, when it's really, really wet and raining outside, I can wear these. And these were actually in Sue's basement. And she didn't think they would fit me, but actually they're a perfect fit. I think they're a size, I'm a size... Uh, 39 in European sizing which is like uh, between a 5 and a 6, uh, probably 6 UK and these are uh, UK size 6 so uh, I've, and I've uh, already been in the garden with these so those were a great great find and of course when you come back from these swaps once again you know when you when you're in your own house you think oh yeah 
am I using this? Am I using that? And I've already found a few items of clothes that I'm not going to wear again. One of the items that came from a previous swap, do you remember this one? Do you remember what it was? The little handle? It was for uh, frying eggs or pancakes in a heart shape. And I can tell, I think I've used it once or twice. Com complete waste of time. So that is going back to the swap. I hope you enjoyed seeing the ladies and what goes on at our swaps and I'll repeat it again and again and again and again in case you, you missed it with the previous videos. Anything that we don't take home from the swap, as you saw it was all bagged up and we take it to a charity shop, it goes to a women's shelter, men's shelter, the book exchange, uh, it's all handed on to, to charity and I think the most important Thing that we have learned since we started these swaps, think about, we've been doing these for about three or four years now, is that it stops us actually buying new things. We can see that, you know, we use something, we maybe use it a, a couple of times, or maybe our children uh, change interests, we start reading different types of books, we're ready to let go of cookbooks. It stops us actually buying things because we think, oh, is it just going to end up going to the clothes swap or quite often we'll find something at the clothes swap that we can get some more use out of instead of buying it in the shops instead of always buying you. So anyway, uh, hopefully that was a wee bit of motivation for you. I'm going to put my items away. Let me know what, what was your favourite thing that you saw at the swap. Have you ever held a swap? Are you tempted to, to do it? Let, let me know. I, I know a lot of you have started your own swaps where you are in the, uh, around the world. And I, I'm so looking forward to, uh, to going out with my new handbag. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, get in touch with the girls and see where we're going. And all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish hoogie be with you. I shall see you on the other side with a wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.